Good morning. Coffee courtesy of the cafeteria. Oh, thanks, Captain. Uh, I'll pass. I've been drinking that stuff all night. Mm, smart man. Now, tell me, did you find anything? Nothing. Whoever killed that guy wasn't after drugs. There weren't any. Yeah, yeah, we've ruled out that motive. Anything more on the missing wallet? No, no. This kid Barker didn't carry much cash. He didn't have much to carry. So it looks like it wasn't for money either. I don't know. People these days get killed for two bucks and change. I'm sorry, that doesn't sit right with me. Maybe he gambled. No, no, we checked him out fully. He's a nice young kid, quiet, kept to himself, lived with his mother, and he enjoyed his work. Well, I'll say this much, the killer was neat and clean. Hmm? You think uh, a pro, maybe? Somebody who covered his tracks, all right. You know, Bob, there's got to be a motive. Got to be a motive. When you were looking through that desk, did you find anything that we might call secret records in any of this? No. Routine tests. Well, I guess you better just keep after it. Go through all this stuff again. I'm going to go talk to Dr. Hardy, and then... then I think I'm going over to Star and talk to... Luke Spencer and Robert Scorpio. Somehow, I think they're not saying all they know about Al Barker's murder. Check with you later. Mm -hmm. Basil, it's too early in the day to be tense. I'm not tense. I just detest this custom of eggs, sunny side up. I think it's a rather cheerful way to start the day. Relax. Here, have some more juice. It's difficult to relax when things are going so slowly. Oh. Nonsense. We've made great progress. Not quickly enough. We were fortunate with that Barker fellow, though. Yes, you've told me that three times. Yes. His early demise was, uh, well, it was good for us, but we mustn't push our luck. We mustn't allow our nerves to get the better of us, either. <sighs> you know as well as I do that the longer this takes, the more risk there is involved. This whole operation should be a quick in and out with no complications. I'm fully aware of that, yes. Maybe your daughter needs to be reminded. Holly has managed herself beautifully. By the way, she's done a tremendous job with Luke Spencer. If she has such influence over Luke Spencer, she better make damn sure that she gets him to move soon. Shh. Quiet. Quiet. Oh, what time is it? It's too early. Would you be quiet? Good morning, Glory. Oh, no. Oh, terrific. Now, come on, love. Let us in. No, please, you guys. We, we won't look. Honestly, I'm not dressed yet. Tiffany, come on. It's indecent. This is very important. It's indecent. We don't want your body, do you mind? We just oh, want the... I promise I won't look, all right? Now, now, come on, look, you guys. Hey, look, I see... Uh, yay, not bad. Get off of <clears> me, please. Now, what are you doing? Tiffany, just go back to bed, darling. We we, we just want to play with Jackie's machine. Please yeah. be quiet. It sounds like we're having a party look, in here. It's just us, just the three of us, right? Well, do you no have to else. do whatever it is you're doing right now? Robert, listen. We'll explain it to you when you wake up. I am wide awake, thanks to you. Now, what are you doing? Look, we're trying to find out if Al Barker left a message on this machine before he was murdered. I thought you said it was a race. There may be traces of it. Do you have to find this out now? Tiffany, will you please shut up? This machine could tell us why he was murdered. Fast as the tape plays. You hear anything, Robert? Not to my ear. Good. Right. There's nothing there. Goodbye. Now listen, just be safe. Play it again. There is nothing there. Would you please leave? Okay, listen to this, Robert. There's nothing on that tape. You said so yourself. If there were, we wouldn't be able to hear it. Darling, this is an audio medium. You haven't shut up since we got here. You play it again, pal. <sighs> Oh, forget it, man. There's nothing on this There's nothing tape. There's nothing there, good. Uh, now, please leave. Listen, please. wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe there's something wrong with the machine. I'll go up to Tiffany's bedroom and call this no, number. No, 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 Robert, you can't go up there. But look, one quick call and no, you get rid of no, us. No, 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 you just cannot go up there. 
Look, I'm not planning to move in if that's what you're worried about. <laughs> no, darling, you just can't go, okay? Would you, you please can't... let him make a call, Tiff? No, no, I'll make the call. I'll make the call, all right? Look. You stay right down here. I will make the call. Don't you go any place. Stay right here. I'll be right back. Wake this woman before breakfast. You don't get pancakes. You don't get eggs. You get nothing but a blur. She'll lift her on the arm. Really? So all we know for sure is that Barker's death was not drug related. Captain, we've already had one death in this hospital, and now a week later another. Perhaps in some way they're tied together. Well, of course, anything is possible, Doctor, but I doubt that very much. Well, somehow, some way, you're going to have to get to the bottom of this. I intend to. You know, as I said to you before, most of the people on your staff and everybody in this hospital is going to have to be questioned. Fine, fine, and you'll have my full cooperation. You know, his death may have nothing whatsoever to do with the hospital. It happened here, Captain. Don't you realize that something like this could undermine the public's confidence in us? Well, we'll do our best. That's all we can do, Doctor. I'm sorry. I have no right to be that hard on you. Well, I know you have pressures of your own. No sense in heaping mine on top of yours. Well, I hope you're not blaming yourself. To some extent, yes. I've allowed my staff to involve this hospital in their own private interests. First, the, the fighter, the manager, whatever he was. And now this. It's all unthinkable. Let me assure you that as far as we know, this murder has nothing to do with Dr. Weber, the sports center, or the mob. I thought you said you didn't know anything for sure. Well, I do believe that whoever is connected with Barker's murder is someone outside this hospital. I'm not sure I follow you. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure I follow myself. It's just that I have this gut feeling that Luke Spencer could shed some light on this subject. Luke, surely you're not suggesting... I'm not suggesting anything, Doctor. It's just that I have a hunch that Spencer knows something that he is not telling me. And I'm going to find out what it is. Down, Basil. All he knows what she's about. I wish I had your confidence in her, especially her timing. She has a fine sense of timing and a fine sense of people. She may have met a match in Luke Spencer. Spencer's a man. She handles men beautifully. Until now. Look, why are you so sour on Holly? I'm not sour on her. I'm merely concerned. Well, there's no need. Maybe. But I... I think I should have a little talk with Holly. We all need reassurance every time, every now and again. By all means. A vote of confidence from you would be most appreciated. And by all means, I shall deliver it. Splendid. After uh, I've advised her that we've had this little conversation. Advised her or warned her? Don't push her, Basil. I won't permit it. Ever the protective father. Well, I admire you for that. Look, I won't allow you to shake her confidence in herself or in her ability to work with us. No, of course not. I'm going to reinforce it. Reestablish, if you will, the rapport that Holly and I shared when we were in England together. Basil! Don't worry, Charles. And don't get nervous. I know exactly what I'm going to say to Holly.
can't hear it. Maybe it's not working. Talk louder! I, I, it doesn't work that way, mate. Well, maybe it doesn't work at all. Uh, look, tell her to try one more time. Tiffany! One more time! We can't hear you! Talk up! We can't hear you! That was loud and clear. What does she mean uh, by that? Uh, maybe we'll out. find out. Out, O U T, out right now. Get okay. out. Uh, well, this is the Tiffany that we know and love. You are uh, making me very angry, Robert. Uh, anger becomes you, darling, doesn't it, Luke? Yeah, would you please leave? Flush. Would you please leave? I do not. I've got better things to do with my life than stay or sit around here and play these silly games with you. And I resent this intrusion. I have to tell you, I don't mean to hurt your feelings, and I love you both to but get out of here right now. But what? 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 Oh, I think she wants us to leave. Yes. Out. Get out. I'm ordering you right now. I think now. she means it. She's mean. Well, what about would the you door? Get, what? See yourself to the door. Shh. Well, but, but Tiffany, so I, you are rude, uh, girl. Rude and, and really very much a grouch. Uh, oh, <coughs> look, no brushes, no encyclopedias. Wrong house. <laughs> I'm sorry, I must have the wrong apartment. I'm looking for uh, Miss Tiffany Hill. <laughs> <laughs> wrong day, pal. Mm. This is where she lives. Yeah, but you don't want to go in there, believe me. Yeah, I, not today, not tomorrow, not any time. You got it. Jungle. Oof. <laughs> Yeah, come in. Why not? Thank you. I wasn't sure you'd want to see me. <laughs> How could you think that? I had been dying to see if your face was still as red as it was last night. Or oh, purple. No, high crimson. I don't know what made Susan pull that outrageous stunt, Monica. She's getting awfully good at those things, isn't she? I didn't come here to fight with you. Oh, then why did you come? Just to see if little Miss Simps' uh, maternity frock uh, last night knocked me for a loop? Well, guess what? It didn't. No, my life has continued on as usual. In fact, I have surgery in 30 minutes with Dr. Drake. If you have anything else to say, I suggest you say it now and get out. Susan isn't pregnant. Oh, come on. She isn't. She's lying. How do you know? Because I'm a doctor. You're not a celibate doctor. Susan is not pregnant. Good heavens, that entire cruise, all that romance and the moonlight didn't lead to anything. It couldn't have happened. Oh, really? Sailed in separate staterooms, did you? Look, even if it did, which it didn't, she wouldn't be showing. Lord knows what she was showing under that ridiculous tent she was wearing. The only reason she did that is to try once again to try and publicly embarrass us. It worked. We can't let it. Oh, no, make that singular, Alan. You singularly have an amazing talent for creating awkward circumstances. I didn't do anything. Susan did it. Got herself pregnant? That's clever. Look, I'm only trying to... I'm, what? I'm Defend just... yourself? Well, then, don't try, because it isn't going to work. Come in, and you, dear Daddy, get out. Lee, will you talk to this stubborn woman? Will you tell her to listen to me? Lee, will you get Alan out of this room before Wait I kill him? Wait a minute. What happened to the United Front here? At the moment, Susan Moore has the corner on that market. All I am concerned about is money. I don't believe you. That's all you think about it. Yeah. Hold money. your fire, will you? Now, the two of you have got to understand, for this last time, if you don't work together, there isn't going to be any money. The whole quarter main family is going to be shot down. What a pleasant surprise. May I join you? Well, I was, I was just Thank trying. Thank you. It's been a long time. This is not the place. Later. No. May I help you? Will Miss Sutton allow me to buy her a cup of coffee? How can I possibly refuse? Uh, may I get you a menu? No, that won't be necessary. Thank you. Right. How have you been, Miss Sutton? Fine. And you? Oh, splendid, all things considered. Why are you doing this? To remind you of your responsibilities. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing. Not quickly enough. Mm. You're always the one who's talking about risks. Why are you here? Oh, to encourage the troops. And to remind you that stress is very bad for your father. He's not under any stress. He will be soon if this operation is delayed. I'm sure you wouldn't want to be responsible for another one of his attacks. You're threatening me. No, never. 
No. Your cooperation is very important to us. After all, we're family. You never cared about Daddy or me. Oh, well, that's where you're wrong, dear. I care a lot about you. Don't call me dear. We're business affiliates. There's nothing endearing about it. Oh, we're a lot more than business affiliates. We're cousins. And if you'd give me half a chance, we could be a lot closer cousins. Here in Port Charles, for one reason, you're always saying the plan comes first. Everyone needs a little time to relax. Why don't you just let go for a minute? I don't want anything from you. Oh, actually, you do. You want money, and you want power. And so does your father. Just leave my father out of this. You're always putting him down. Actually, I have nothing against your father. It's just that he married my cousin. He doesn't belong in our family at all. Neither do I, means being anything like you. You enjoy success just like the rest of us. We're all in it for the money. And if you don't botch things up, there'll be plenty of it. Some things are more important than money. <laughs> if you believe that, you, you don't belong in this family at all. Honestly, I think you're more talented than most of us. You just need more, more practice and a good coach. If I needed a coach, I'd go to my father. Certainly not you. Oh, suit yourself. But you may find yourself excommunicated if Reginald and Oliver get to hear what's been going on around here. Reginald and Oliver have nothing to do with this. Oh, Reginald and Oliver have everything to do with this. They could get rid of you just like that. Frankly, I've always thought you were the domestic type. They could set you up in a little estate outside London with... Uh, fresh air and the trees and the birds twittering. You could enjoy it all through the barred windows. I'm tired of your threats. Not threats, just reminders. Remember rule number two in the Sutton Bill of Rights is thou shalt get along with thy cousin. And I mean get along. You know what you can do with your rule. You must try one of Kelly's famous homemade donuts. Hi, Luca. We were just talking about you. Morning. Look who Morning. showed up for breakfast, Mr. Corson. How are you? Fine, thank you. Morning, Luke. Hello, Mother. Would you like some coffee? No, thank you. We have an appointment. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I was looking forward to a chat. What did you wish to discuss? Mr. Corso is, is eager to know if we've reached a decision concerning his offer. If we're going to be involved in the development of your property, we'd like to begin as soon as possible. We'd all like that. Is there any problem? Nothing we can't handle. It will take a little more time, though. Oh, well, I, I hope not too long. We have many operations pending, Mr. Spencer, and, uh, well, delays cost money. We need an answer soon. We'll give it to you as soon as possible. At the moment, there are certain... Odds and ends that need to be tied up. Can things you give me to... some kind of time frame? Yes, I think that if things keep on as they are, possibly by the end of the day. <laughs> well, that's excellent. Well, we'll look, we'll look forward to doing business with you. Thank you, likewise. We're expecting a phone call. Mm, yes, all set. I just need a check. Uh, allow me to do that. Thank you. Not at all. All right, Holly, let's go. We'll uh, be in touch, Mr. Mm -hmm. Corso. Be in touch, all right. The answer better be yes. I almost killed those two with my bare hands. I cannot believe what in the world did you can get this is positively indeed. I hated to wake you up before noon, but I just had to see you. It's on Clark. You know, the movies never did you justice. I don't believe it. What are you doing here? Waiting to take you into my arms again, you gorgeous creature. Excuse Let me. me look at you. You haven't changed. Well, aren't you going to say anything? I can't. You're at a loss for words? I don't believe it. I don't believe it's you. Tiff, we didn't say goodbye. We just said out here for dare to remember. That was a long time. What are you? How did you find me? Your agent gave me your address, and uh, I'm on my way to Canada, so I thought I'd make a small detour to see if you were still the dynamite lady I remember. Darling, listen. We've got two days. Longer if you wanted, and I, uh, I think we've got a lot of catching up to do. Uh, 
Yes. Shall we uh, start over breakfast? Uh, I, I don't eat breakfast. Uh-uh. There was a time when we shared croissants and champagne. Uh, I remember. Remember that time I, uh, I snuck onto the set of that film you were making in Italy? Oh, uh, what film? I, I did so many films in Italy, I forgot which one. And the premiere. The premiere that night in Venice. The, uh, the film Biennale. This is, this is very, very... It's so good to see you. I don't mean to be rude, but this is not a very good time for me. You'll have to excuse me. Lunch? Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm so busy today, and I'm waiting for a very, very important phone call. Look solid, as usual. Mm-hmm. All day and all night. <laughs> How about dinner tomorrow at the Floating Rib? Tomorrow? Say yes, and I'll get out of your hair. Okay, yes. <laughs> your beautiful hair. Mm -hmm. For old times' sake. <laughs> yes. We'll pick up from there tomorrow. <laughs> my problem. I'm waiting for the phone to ring. They've had enough time to check out that shale. What are you waiting for? We've got investors dying to get in. Why don't we start and open up the escrow account? We're not going to do that until we're positive there's oil. We've talked about this a million times. It'll only take another day or so. The oil is not going away. No, but the Corsos might. They want an answer. So do I, damn it. Come on, phone ring. We need $500,000 for the Corsos. But then again, if this guy calls with a negative result from the shale test, we won't need any money. Hey, relax, love. Look, if the Corsos are this interested, they'll wait a bit longer. How can you be so sure? They haven't stuck around this long unless they really want in on this deal. Yeah, but it makes me nervous. They've got so many projects to choose from. They might get fed up and turn down us. No, they won't. How do you know? I'm sure, because I'm psychic. Well, I'm scared. I've never been this close to anything before, and I, I just don't want to blow it. Robert, how do we convince this woman? Your department, mate. All right, come here and be convinced. Not now, Luke. That is all you ever say. Yeah, I, I'm nervous about the telephone call. The phone is going to ring. Trust me. Hey! What'd I tell you? You got it. Hello, Star. And cross your fingers. 